हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द वेरी बेसिक थिंग्स ऑफ आग जी आई एस दैट इज इमेज एनालिसिस इन आग जी आई एस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ओपन द आग जी आई एस मैप देन वी विल क्लिक द कैटलॉग ओपन द कैटलॉग ऑप्शन देन हेयर विल गो टू द फोल्डर कनेक्शन हेयर I have already connected the folders. If you want to connect your folder, which will not connect here, then you can just direct connect from here. Any kind of folder, just press OK, then it will connect. My necessary folder is already connected here. That is, I have downloaded the Landsat images. This is the image. I extract the zip file, and here. is the all output file all are in tiff format is the all single band in the images to proceed further any kind of analysis we need to stack the layer for the visual interpretation firstly for that purpose we stack the layers of the image this is band 1 In Landsat eight band one represent the coastal aerosol band. We'll just simply drag to the view bar, then band two, band three, band four, and lastly band five. Band one is the coastal aerosol band. Band two is the blue band band 3 is the green band band 4 is the red band and band 5 is the nir band for visual interpretation purpose we just need to band only this five band if you need all the bands you can also proceed further but for today we only just stack all these five bands for the layer stack purpose we just go to the search option click here here i already type composite bands just click here okay we just need to give the input rasters i have select all the layers by default it always takes to the default gdb but we can give it our path that is my folder i have already created and i just save it as the very important part is you always have while using while saving a raster data set you always have to give extension like dot img or dot tiff it is very mandatory if you will not give the extension of dot img or dot tiff it will save as a grd file for further analysis it will then of no use so for that part you always have to type dot img or dot tiff the processing is ongoing here we can clearly see that the composite bands to complete we have to wait for that some time in landsat 5 band 5 represent the nir band and band 4 represent the red band land in landsat 8 if we analysis kind of vegetation in this is we will only use the bands okay hence finally we got the bands first we remove all the layers just remove all the layers okay finally i got my layer stack image in this image the blue color shows the turbid water or the sedimentary water the black color shows here the clear water bodies the red 
part are the vegetation part here the cyan color represents the settlement part it is very clear in this image is the very dense settlement part in that area we can clearly see it and it is the very clear water body or wetland part of the area hence so our first analysis that is the layer stack of an image that is also known as composite band we have done it and it is done successfully for next part we will do first we uncheck the image for next part we will perform ndvi that is normalized difference vegetation index for normalized difference vegetation index it is a vegetation indices to find out the vegetation cover in the area the formula to find out the ndvi is nir band minus red band divided by nir band plus red band the nir band represent band 5 and red band represent band 4 these are only for this is very mandatory these are only for land set 8 not land set 7 6 or 5 okay so for that purpose we will now open our band 5 and band 4 so just simply drag to the view bar band 5 and band 4 okay for now we will now we will find the ndvi and ndvi so for that purpose we again go to the search option we will write here raster calculator just simply click enter then we just click here the special analyst tool raster calculator okay hence we use the values in float the band 5 double click the band it will come here minus band 4 double click then the formula according to the formula again float value band 5 plus band 4 in the formula I didn't mention the float for this raster calculator use we use the float value because of the continuous value not any other purpose you can simply use also band 4 minus band 5 then the, the, it will give you a uh, thematic value if you need the float value then we just use float by default it will go to the arcgis default gdb we will give it a path okay we will name it ndvi okay dot img as same it is just click save then just ok we also it is all processing already we also have to remember that whenever we calculate the normalized difference vegetation index the value should lie between minus 1 to plus 1 if the values extended or beyond the values that is beyond minus 1 or plus 1 your indices is not correct you again have to recalculate it if it is values from plus one or minus one then it is your indices is correct hence we can clearly see that the value is minus one to plus one we can change the color ramp the high vegetation cover here and the low vegetation high vegetation cover in blue color and low vegetation cover in orange here and the also the value lies from and minus one to plus one okay here we already perform two tasks but very basic for image analysis you will further continue with another video thank you so much friends